Hey guys, so I have a little bit of a different video for you today. Whenever I post tutorials or art videos, it's typically something that I already know how to do really well, so I wanted to change that up and show you my attempt to try something that I have not yet mastered. And for this video, that's going to be watercolors. Believe it or not, I'm not really that good at using watercolors, but I really want to be. Of course, I've taken art classes before, but I've never actually taken a painting class, and I don't have any actual training in painting, so I'm just kind of teaching myself. I really wanted to show you guys that even though I have this whole channel full of art tutorials, there's still a lot of art things that I'm not good at. So you can follow along with this video as I attempt to paint crystals. Also, all my supplies will be listed below for those of you who are interested. I started out by drawing a very simple crystal shape just with a mechanical pencil. And I looked online for some crystal images to use as a reference because I like drawing from references. It's easiest for me. And then I went in with the watercolors, and for this one, I wanted it to be kind of a pinky red color, so I mixed the perfect shade, and I started adding the color. I started by painting different sections of the crystal, and I would dry them in between. Um, you can I used a heat gun, but you could use a blow dryer or just let it dry. And... Um, I didn't do two sections next to each other at the same time because I didn't want them to bleed into each other. I wanted to keep the lines really sharp and crisp between the different facets of the crystal. So hopefully I explained that correctly, but this was my first attempt, which isn't terrible for my first try. For the second one, I decided to try my hand at painting a crystal cluster. So once again, I started out by drawing a very light sketch of the outline of the crystal and then I'll go in with the watercolors. So guys, to be honest, this video was actually really hard for me to make just because I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to my art or my YouTube videos and it's really hard for me to show the world, the beginning stages, or something that I'm not good at, something that I haven't mastered yet. But I think that's why this was so important to make this video, because I know I get caught up a lot in looking at other people's art and thinking, wow, they're so amazing, I can never be that great. But you have to keep in mind that they started from zero skills, just like I am. So I can't expect myself to just be perfect at something the first time I try it. It's a process and it takes time and most people show the world their best work or the things they've mastered and you don't see the behind the scenes or all the work they put in to get to that point. So with this video, I just wanted to show you that guys, I am not perfect at everything art related. I usually show you guys my best work because I don't want to show you the things that I'm bad at, but um, I thought this would be a good video to make because I am not great at watercolors, but I want to be, so here's the process of me learning. So here I am painting a geode and I didn't have any specific technique. I would explain what I was doing, but I wasn't completely happy with the outcome, and I still want to experiment a little bit with how to paint these, so I'm going to work on it a little bit more, but after I painted that first one, I attempted another one just to see if I could get it perfect. I still didn't get it perfect, but when I do, I will let you guys know, and I will be sure to explain it to you guys. If you are new to watercolors or you just want a little bit of practice, you should try painting these crystals because they're not that hard to do and I know I was being harsh on myself and saying that these weren't perfect, but there's no need for them to be perfect. Just have fun with it and it was a great way to spend an afternoon, just a few hours painting these crystals, so give it a try if you're interested. So next, I decided to try painting an amethyst. 
and I had one sitting next to me that I was referencing as I did this and uh, I started out again with a light pencil sketch and then went in with the watercolor so I began with this darkish gray color for the rocky part on the bottom and I just layered that until it was kind of textured and rocky looking and then I went in with a purple color so the top pointy parts of the amethyst are the darkest purple color and then it fades out so this was a lot of fun to experiment with and test out some different techniques so yeah i was pretty happy with how this came out and um, i'm excited to try it again and see if i can make it look even better and then i just painted a few more little crystals just to get a little bit more practice in uh, these are the easiest because you can just draw some geometric shapes and it kind of forms a crystal and um, It wasn't perfect, but it was pretty good. I think for my first try at least that's what I'm trying to tell myself that it's okay to not be perfect at it right away I'm gonna keep practicing these watercolor crystals and hopefully soon I'll be able to make an actual tutorial for you guys and show you some techniques for painting these crystals. But I hope that you enjoyed this video of me just kind of showing you my process and the beginning stages of me learning this and I hope you didn't mind me rambling over this, my thoughts. But go out and try something new and don't be so hard on yourself. Let yourself be a beginner. It's okay to not be perfect and just have fun with it. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye guys.